In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sack bot that can shoot in all directions. I've created an example here for you, so you can see you hit the R1 button, and then whatever direction you push the joystick, uh, that's where he'll fire. Okay, to make this from scratch, I've set up our sack bots. Um, if you don't know how to do this, I've created another tutorial that shows you how to set up a sack bot. But basically, it's just two controllinators, one in the um, Sackbot's microchip. One is set to receiver, and the other is set to transmitter. Okay, the first thing we need to do is create our hologram. Um, we just use the hologram material. I'm going to use a circle, and I'm going to make it flat. You can make it... Um, one segment wide as well, it doesn't really matter uh, unless you're going to use a tag sensor which has an option to detect the same layer so keep that in mind when you're planning your level um, so it doesn't matter, so I'll just use a flat hologram, but you'll see it's it's really bright and the player is going to be able to see that so change the brightness down to zero animation speed doesn't matter because um, it's going to be completely invisible now we need a tag on our sack bot. Let's put that anywhere in there. Um, and be sure to label these when you're making your level so it doesn't get complicated and mixed up. Um, but for here I'm just going to leave it alone. Now we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff on this hologram so I'm going to make a microchip and put it uh, as close as I can to the center. Um, if you want things spawning further out, you can put another one like out on the edge or further up. Because uh, when you have emitters inside the microchip, they always spawn at the center of the microchip. Um, so inside this microchip, we're going to need a follower. It's uh, one of your movers. You just place that down. Um, and then we want to kind of max out the settings. Um, Minimum range should be zero. Uh, detection range should be as wide as you want. Um, strength should be 100%. In and out movement, yes. And maximum speed, uh, set it to 100. That way it'll be uh, right with the sack bot. It won't uh, be lagging behind. And then the most important option is... Um, right down here in the trigger section it says follow tag instead you want to make sure that's set to yes and then pick your tag color and your label if you have one and now you'll see when I let go it's going to instantly follow this sack bot so now you have a uh, a nice uh, plane to work with okay there are two ways to set up the controls for the joystick. Um, you could have it so that th these are the Sackbot's controls. You can hook that up directly to the hologram, but you never know if, if something's going to happen or um, there may be something that's unexpected, so um, I'm going to take this controllinator and double it. So now we have a separate receiver, so both of these are going to receive signals from our original controllinator. And then you won't have any mix-up. If this hologram gets deleted somehow, you can spawn another one and it won't change anything. But if you had the original controllinator hooked up to this hologram uh, and it got deleted, you wouldn't be able to do that. So now we need to set up our joystick rotator. Just put that anywhere in the hologram microchip. And then we hook up the right stick, the output that says left and right. You hook that up to the left and right uh, speed of the joystick rotator input. Then you hook up uh, up and down to the up and down input, which is on the top here. And then you'll notice on the bottom, that's on and off. Uh, all you need to do is set up a battery. 
and hook that up. That way it's always on because there's no scenario that you would ever want to turn this off anyway. Um, so now let's see what this looks like. You can see that the, the rotator rotates with the, the joystick so it's starting to work um, but you'll see as I let go there it just keeps spinning and we don't want that. Um, there's a really simple fix and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to need an anti-gravity tweaker. Just put that anywhere inside the microchip. And then we need to set this to uh, a relatively high number, lower than 100%. And then this is probably going to affect our joystick rotator. Uh, see how it's a lot slower now? But when you let go, it stops it from spinning. So we're going to go into our joystick rotator and maximize the rotation speed maximize the acceleration and you'll see it's back to normal but when you let go of it it doesn't keep rotating so that's exactly what we want so at this point um, you have everything set up all you have to do is put an emitter inside the microchip anywhere you want and let's say it's uh, going to shoot water because that's the safest one for our sackbot here and then what you want to do is um, pick the layer and make sure it's straight up and down right above your sackbot and then change the velocity change the frequency and change the lifetime and then all we need to do is hook the emitter up to our controllinator I'm going to set it as the R1 button, and then we're ready to go. So, holding R1 shoots it, and you have a working weapon system. And that's all you need. Alright, thanks for watching.